welcome to all of you i am master trainer from rmsa and i am prepare ppt for arithmetic progression i am vedeep viram devalkar from skpm high school colombe district ratnagar now i introduce about arithmetic progression we have studied already number system set theory operation on numbers such as addition subtraction multiplication and division set of natural numbers such as even numbers odd numbers whole numbers we have see set theory in last year now we have to going some new topics and for this we see some picture some video presentation here look carefully the sequence begins with the numbers 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 22 23 24 and continues indefinitely each number is obtained by adding the last two digits together if we were to take a perfect or golden rectangle break it down into smaller squares based on fibonacci sequence and divide each with an arc the patterns begin to take shape we begin to see fibonacci's spiral the spiral in and of itself is insignificant its importance is revealed in where we find it Take for example the sunflower. The display of its florets are in perfect spirals of 55, 34 and 21. The sequence of Fibonacci. The fruitlets of the pineapple create the same spiral based on the sequence. The pine cone does the same. As currents move through the ocean and the tide rolls onto the shore, the waves that bring in the tide curve into a spiral that can be mathematically diagrammed onto a plot at the points 1 1 Two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, and fifty-five. Buds on trees, sand dollars, starfish, petals on flowers, and especially the nautilus shell are formed with this exact same blueprint. With each segment of growth, the nautilus adds to itself one more value on Fibonacci's scale. This blueprint can be seen around us on a small scale every day. but the greatest example of all is directly above our heads at an average of 100,000 light years across even the spiral of the galaxies above us are formed with the exact design that the tiny shell is formed this sequence or blueprint appears to be the trademark of a designer in this presentation we see beauty in nature such as sunflower then pineapple then trees and uh, in nature we see some examples now secondly we see some lists of numbers such as set of odd natural numbers 1 3 5 7 8 secondly 2 4 8 16 32 Then one four nine sixteen twenty five. Then seven fourteen twenty one twenty eight thirty five. Observe this list, and you can find next term easily. And nextly, we see some figures. In first figure. we see some faces write down the set number in these figures and write set in second figure there are squares so count squares and write number of squares in third figure there is already given the chips how many chips are there in first there are two chips and this secondly five days eight days 11 days 
for 10. This is list of numbers. Then we see some words, figures and count. Write the numbers. And from this all sets, we can now define uh, uh, new concept sequence. In nature, we see buildings, the structure. So, beauty is around us and we see from this uh, the new topic sequence and define it. Sequence. A sequence is a collection of numbers arranged in a definite order account, according to some definite rules. So, there must be some rule, definite rule and we can uh, know this list as sequence. And it is each number in this sequence is called term. That is first position number is first term. In second position it is second term. And it is denoted by T1, T2. Third position T3 and so on up to Tn. Nth term of sequence is denoted by Tn. And it is usually denoted sequence as shown on board. In comma, Tn is written as sequence. Symbolic, we write sequence. That's Sum of sequence. first n terms of sequence. If Tn is given, first n terms of sequence are given. Then sum of n terms, that is Sn, is calculated as T1 plus T2 plus T3 and up to plus Tn. From this, we can find some equations such as S1 is equal to T1, S2 means sum of first two terms T1 plus T2, S3 sum of first three terms that is T1 plus T2 plus T3 and so on. We get sum of first n terms of sequence as T1 plus T2 plus T3 and so on up to plus Tn. From these equations, we see S1 is equal to T1. S2 minus S1, we get T2. That is, when we calculate second term, we know sum of first two terms and sum of first term. Subtract it and we get T2. Third term, we have to calculate. Then we know S3 and S2. So, S3 minus S2, we get third term and so on, we get sum of n terms, sum of n minus 1 terms, subtract it and we get Tn, that is nth term of sequence is calculated by using formula Tn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. Types of sequences. There are two types finite sequence and infinite sequence. When we know the terms in sequences, definite terms, how many terms are there, then it is finite. For example, the even natural numbers up to 100. This is for example. In finite sequence, there is no limit of numbers. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, that is set of natural number is in finite sequence. So many examples are there. Observing only, we can uh, say which are finite and for this, finite we can solve some examples. First example, find next four terms of sequence. 1, 2, 4, 7, 11. The sequence is given and we have to find next four terms. For this, we have to find first rule of sequence. And which is definite rule? So we write given terms. T1 is equal to 1. T2 is equal to 1 plus 1. We get 2. For T3, 2 plus 2, 
that is 4. T4, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. T5 is equal to 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. So, C, we add some terms such as 1, 2, 3, 4, serially, increasing order. We add these term, uh, numbers and get next term. So, there is definite rule. Now, we can find next term T6 as T6 is equal to T5 plus 5 means 11 plus 5 is equal to 16. Seventh term T7 is equal to 16 plus 6 is equal to 22. T8 is equal to 22 plus 7 is equal to 29. T9 is equal to 29 plus 8 37. And so next four terms of given sequence are 16, 22, 29 and 37. Now second example in this topic. Find first four terms of sequence whose nth term Tn is given. Here I am uh, take example Tn is equal to n plus 2. We have to find here T1, T2, T3 and T4. So substitute n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4. Mm in given equation. So substituting, look at uh, on screen, Tn is equal to n plus 2 or n is equal to 1. Substitute n is equal to 1. T1 is equal to 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3. For second term, n is equal to 2 substitute. T2 is equal to 2 plus 2 that is 4. For n is equal to 3, T3 is equal to 3 plus 2 that is 5 and for n is equal to 4 we have to find 4 first term. So T4 is equal to 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So 3, 4, 5 and 6 are first 4 terms of given sequence. When Tn is given we can find any term. For example, we have to find T20, 20th term. We must substitute N by 20. We get third type of example. For a uh, sequence Tn, if Sn is given, Sn is equal to N square in bracket N plus 1, then find the first three terms of sequence. For a given sequence, sequence as we see Next exam, uh, earlier example, given Tn and we substitute for value of n simultaneously here also. For n is equal to, we get S1, S2, S3, S4 and so on. We have to find here three terms. So we must know value of S1, S2, S3 first and then we uh, use formula for Tn. So, from uh, formula Sn is equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3 up to Tn. Here Sn is given n square in bracket n plus 1. So, for substitute n is equal to 1, we get S1 is equal to 1 square into 1 plus 1 that is 1 into 2 is equal to 2. For n is equal to 2, we get S2 is equal to 2 square in bracket 2 plus 1 that is 4 into 3 and it is equal to 12. For n is equal to 3 we get S3 as 3 square in bracket 3 plus 1 that is 9 into 4 that is 36. So we get S1, S2 and S3 but we have find here 3 terms that is T1, T2 and T3. So, T1 is S1. So, we get first term as 2. T2 is equal to S2 minus S1. We know value of S2. 12 minus 2. It is 10. T3 is equal to S3 minus S2. So, it is 36 minus 12. 24. So, from 
given sequence we find first three terms of sequence as 2 10 and 24